Hello dear. It's a pleasure to have you in our channel. If you are watching this video, that means you are willing to make a real change in your life. The Nutritionpedia is the best place to start learning how to take care of yourself. By learning about healthy eating habits and foods benefits. We will share with you everything about nutrition and healthy eating. You will enjoy with us the rich content about all kinds of foods, nutrients and the best diet plans for your health and fitness goals. So, to keep updated. Subscribe and activate the notification bell for videos on nutrition, health, diet and weight loss. Thanks for watching. We all hear the word thrown around all the time. It's in our food, it's got to do with our health, and it's undoubtedly an important part in our daily lives. But just how well do we exactly know what nutrition is? Nutrients are basically substances that provide our body with nourishment, which is important for maintaining a healthy life. This is important for living beings, but for this video, we will be focusing on human nutrition. Nutrition is essential for children in terms of growth, and is just as important for adults in order to stay healthy and avoid malnutrition. There are many kinds of nutrients, all of which are found in food. They are classified under two categories, macronutrients, which are needed by the body in large amounts on a daily basis, and micronutrients, also known as nutrients required in smaller quantities. The nutrients we will cover are, carbohydrates, fats, fiber, proteins, minerals, and vitamins. Carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are macronutrients found in grain products. You may be unknowingly consuming many food products with plenty of carbohydrates daily, as they are prevalent in rice, cereals, and bread. Carbohydrates are the body's primary source of energy, without them, you would not be able to get the energy you need to last the day. One can imagine carbohydrates as the fuel for the body. They come in two forms, starch and sugar, depending on the food it is found in. However, when it comes to maintaining a healthy diet, it is advisable to not overconsume carbohydrates. Consuming more carbohydrates does not necessarily mean more energy. On the contrary, surplus carbohydrates are converted and stored in the body as fats. Fats. Fats are macronutrients that store the energy you gain from what you consume in your body. They also double as a form of insulation for your body, protecting it from injury and keeping you warm. There are two kinds of fats, unsaturated and saturated fats. Unsaturated fats, as indicated by studies, are healthy for the heart, lowering cholesterol levels to keep your body functioning in a healthy manner. They are found in nuts and olives. On the other hand, saturated fats are harmful to your body, and should not be consumed in large amounts. These fats raise your cholesterol levels which may lead to a variety of different problems, such as heart disease and obesity. These fats are found in processed meat products, dairy products, and junk food. Fibers. Dietary fibers are macronutrients that are actually carbohydrates unabsorbed by the human body. It provides a small fraction of energy like carbohydrates do, but due to its indigestible nature, fibers serve another purpose for our body that is just as important. The consumption of fibers is important to digestive health, as they help move the contents of your intestine along your digestive tract. With this in mind, fibers are helpful in alleviating constipation and diarrhea, as they aid in getting waste products out of the body. The indigestible characteristic of fiber comes from cellulose, which is a type of carbohydrate that humans do not possess the ability to break down and metabolize. As it is important for one's health to consume food rich in fiber, it is advisable for everyone to have sufficient amounts of whole grain, fruits, and vegetables. Proteins. Proteins are macronutrients that are the source of growth and repair for the body. Body cells are made up of protein that the body either produces or gets from the food you consume. They are unable to be stored in the body after consumption, and are either metabolized to serve as a function of growth or repair, or excreted by the body as a waste product. Protein is found in abundance in meats and eggs, as well as dairy products especially milk and cheese, and soy products tofu. Minerals. Though a micronutrient, minerals are essential for a healthy lifestyle, even if they are required in small quantities. There are numerous kinds of minerals found in food, but the most important ones are 
calcium, undoubtedly important to have in your body to maintain the strength and welfare of your bones and teeth. Lesser known characteristics of calcium is the fact that it also plays a role in blood clotting, allowing you to heal from injuries. Calcium is mainly found in milk and cheese. Iron, vital and necessary for the production of blood. A lack of iron will lead to a lack of blood cells, which would be disastrous in leading a healthy life. Iron is mostly found in fish, beef, eggs, oats, and beans. Potassium, required for the health of the heart, nerves, and muscles. Potassium plays a major role in regulating neuromuscular activity and maintaining water balance. Fruits and vegetables are good sources of potassium. Magnesium, essential in the production and function of bones, as well as the inside of cells. Found in meat, milk, green vegetables, and chocolate. Vitamins. Like minerals, vitamins are micronutrients that are needed by our bodies in small amounts, but are in no way less important. There are many vitamins that serve many functions and they are found in all kinds of food, such as fruits and vegetables. A lack of vitamins can lead to an alarming variety of health deficiencies, including osteoporosis, a weakened immune system, scurvy, and other psychological problems. For this reason, many people take vitamin supplements after meals. If the video was useful to you, like and subscribe to the channel, and activate the bell to get notifications of new videos. Thanks for watching. Hi. Welcome to another video of the Vitamin Guide. Today we will talk about Vitamin B3. Vitamin B3 is involved in the degradation of glucose. Its deficiency leads to a disease called pellagra with skin, digestive and nervous problems. Discover the role of this vitamin, its recommended nutritional intake. Description of Vitamin B3 or PP. Vitamin B3 or niacin, is one of the water-soluble vitamins. The term niacin includes two related compounds, nicotinic acid and nicotinamide, both of which have the same biological activity. Preventing a disease called pellagra, vitamin B3 has long been called vitamin PP. It can be ingested directly in the form of niacin present in food or produced by the body from tryptophan, an amino acid, a component of proteins. Roles in the body. In the liver, vitamin B3 is incorporated into the structure of two coenzymes, NAD and NADP, essential for the activity of many enzymes. In these forms, it participates in the production of energy within the cells, in the manufacture of various lipids and their derivatives, bile salts essential for proper digestion of fats, steroid hormones, corticoids, estrogen, testosterone. It also enables DNA to be repaired in the event of damage. It intervenes in the functioning of the nervous system. Vitamin B3 interacts with other vitamins in the B group, particularly B1 and B2. Dietary Sources of Vitamin B3 Vitamin B3 is particularly abundant in certain foods of animal origin, offal, poultry, meat and fatty fish. Whole grain foods contain at least twice as much as refined products. Many breakfast cereals are fortified with it. Brewer's yeast can supplement intakes. As an example, one chicken breast, 120 grams plus 60 grams, three thin slices of whole meal bread equals 100% of the nutritional reference for a woman. As vitamin B3 is water soluble, it escapes into the cooking water or food juices, hence the importance of steaming or stewing and consuming the juices of offal or meat. Like and subscribe if this is your first time watching our videos. Activate the notification bell to receive our new videos. Thanks for watching. Hello dear viewers. As you can see in the title, this video is about barley grass. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video to support us. And let's dive in immediately. The benefits of barley grass have gotten a lot of press over the last couple of years. Considered one of the ultra healthy, green foods, it has been found to contain amazing amounts of nutrients and can have profound effects on your health and life in general. Is barley a green? If you're like me, when you think of barley, you envision amber waves of tall cereal grains blowing in the wind. However, what most of us picture when we think about barley, wheat and other grains are mature plants that are ready to be harvested. 
they still offer nutritional value, but most of the nutrient-rich enzymes in the plant have died off. However, barley in grass form is just the younger version of the plant and is usually harvested when it's about a foot tall and at its nutritional peak. At this point the grass is plenty green so it still contains large amounts of chlorophyll. It's the chlorophyll that many researchers believe is responsible for the vast amounts of nutritional value in this plant. Vitamins, minerals and protein. This fresh grass is loaded with a whole bunch of stuff that is good for the human body. In addition to 18 different amino acids that get directly absorbed into the bloodstream, this awesome little grass contains B1, B2, B6, folic acid, pantothenic acid, beta-carotene, vitamin C, vitamin E, fiber, chlorophyll, iron, B12 and over 70 minerals known to promote a balanced body and immune system. Not only does this plant have more nutritious elements than bingo parlors have old ladies, but they also come in quantities that put other healthy food to shame. Here's how barley grass stacks up against some other foods, it has 5 times more iron than spinach 7 times more vitamin C than an orange 11 times the calcium of cow's milk More dietary fiber than bran More protein than sirloin steak Health benefits of barley grass With that nutrient profile, you know barley grass has to be doing awesome things to your insides. Here are just some of the powerful barley grass benefits to your health. Helps fight ulcers. Aids your body in clearing up acne. Neutralizes pesticides and toxins in your body. Reduces blood pressure. Improves cholesterol. Aids in digestion. Increases your immune system. Barley grass has also been found to naturally increase your energy level and best yet, it may even help fight cancer. The antioxidants in barley grass have been found to kill or stop the spread of various cancers at extremely high levels. Scientists aren't exactly sure as to the mechanism by which this occurs, but the effects are clear. The problem with barley grass is that in order to get the most benefits, it needs to be as fresh as possible. This means that most people have to take the time and effort to grow it themselves or spend a ton of cash to buy it from organic grocery stores and then juice it themselves. As as nutritional supplement, barley grass powder is commonly sold. The only problem is if it's not prepared properly, a lot of the nutritional value can be destroyed. The enzymes that are responsible for the positive health effects of this plant start to die off if they are heated above 116 degrees or frozen. Too many supplement companies dry their barley grass out with huge amounts of heat and then freeze dry it to turn it into a powder. In addition, the longer you wait to process the barley grass from when it's harvested, the less nutrients you will have. Thanks for watching this video. If you feel that what you just learned is interesting give us a big thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Leave a comment if you have any questions or personal experience using barley grass. Bye. Hi. Welcome to another video of the Nutritionpedia. Our topic today is about vitamin B5. Vitamin B5, or pantothenic acid, is essential for the metabolism of various energy nutrients, carbohydrates, sugars, lipids, fats, amino acids, protein constituents. It contributes to the body synthesis of steroids, i.e. cholesterol and its derivatives, bile salts, sex hormones. Discover the role of this vitamin and its recommended nutritional intake. Description of Vitamin B5 Vitamin B5, or pantothenic acid, is one of the water-soluble vitamins. It owes its name to the fact that it is universally widespread, in Greek, pantothen, means, everywhere. However, it can only be produced by plants or microorganisms. Roles in the body. Constituent of coenzyme A, vitamin B5 is involved in the metabolism, storage, mobilization, of carbohydrates, sugars, lipids, fats, and amino acids constituents of proteins. It participates in the synthesis of certain hormones, cortisol, aldosterone, adrenaline. It is essential for tissue growth and thus contributes to the skin healing process and hair growth. It is useful for good intellectual functioning. Dietary Sources of Vitamin B5 
Almost all foods contain vitamin B5, but offal, eggs, poultry, meats and some cheeses are particularly rich in it. Many breakfast cereals are fortified with B-group vitamins, including B5. Brewer's yeast and wheat germ can supplement intakes. In addition, some microorganisms in our intestines produce vitamin B5, but this intake is not always significant. For example, 2 eggs plus 100 grams of button mushrooms a mushroom omelette plus 30 grams of goat dung half a small dung plus 1 plain yogurt plus 100 grams of broccoli a small plate equals 100% of the recommended intake for an adult. Vitamin B5 is very sensitive to heat, to preserve it as well as possible, it is important to cook food for just the right amount of time and to avoid reheating it several times. As it is water-soluble, it escapes into the cooking water, hence the interest of steam cooking. If you like the video, please subscribe to support the channel. Thanks for watching. Vitamins are organic substances that our bodies need to grow and function. The body cannot produce enough to ensure its proper functioning, so dietary intakes are very important. Vitamin A or retinol is an essential vitamin for visual health. It is also found as provitamin A or beta carotene. Discover the role of this vitamin. Description of vitamin A and beta carotene. Vitamin A, or retinol, is one of the fat-soluble vitamins. It is found in foods of animal origin directly as retinol. It can also be ingested in the form of carotenoids, mainly beta carotene or provitamin A. These precursors of vitamin A are present in plants. However, not all of the beta carotene consumed is converted to retinol. That is why, in order to obtain an equivalent vitamin activity, it is necessary to count six times more beta carotene than retinol 1. What are vitamin A and beta carotene used for? Vitamin A is essential for vision, involved in triggering nerve impulses to the optic nerves. It is essential for growth, since it is involved in cell differentiation. It also stimulates cell renewal and is therefore important for the skin and all mucous membranes. It contributes to the functioning of the immune system. Beta carotene, for its part, has an antioxidant action, in synergy with other micronutrients, vitamins C and E, selenium, it helps protect the body from premature aging. The safety limit, the dose above which intake can become toxic, is set at 1000 micrograms per day in addition to the recommended intake, e.g. 1600 micrograms for a woman. Excess vitamin A is particularly harmful for pregnant women and young children under the age of 3, for whom it is not recommended to consume liver, too rich in vitamin A. What foods are rich in vitamin A and beta carotene? The foods richest in retinol are cod liver oil and animal livers, and among the most commonly consumed products are butter, cream, cheese and eggs. The foods richest in beta carotene are orange or green vegetables, sweet potato, carrot, pumpkin, apricot, mango, melon, romaine lettuce, spinach, lettuce. As an example, 2 eggs plus 1 teaspoon of butter 10 grams plus 1 portion of emmental cheese 30 grams plus 2 apricots 100 grams equals 100% of the recommended daily allowance for a woman. Like and subscribe for more informative videos. Thanks for watching. Hi. Welcome to another video of the Vitamin Guide in the Nutritionpedia channel. This video is about vitamin B2. Vitamin B2 is necessary for the production of many enzymes. Derivatives of this vitamin are involved in the degradation of fatty acids, amino acids and proteins. Discover the role of this vitamin and its recommended nutritional intake. Description of Vitamin B2 Vitamin B2, or riboflavin, is one of the water-soluble water -soluble vitamins. Its discovery dates back to 1933, when it was isolated in milk. Within the body, low reserves exist in the liver, heart and kidneys. Roles in the organization. Once assimilated, vitamin B2 is incorporated into the structure of two coenzymes, MNF and FAD, essential for the activity of more than 100 enzymes. Among these enzymes are, acyl-CoA dehydrogenase involved in burning fat for energy, glutathione reductase used to regenerate glutathione, a powerful antioxidant. Vitamin B2 thus participates in the metabolism of carbohydrates, sugars, lipids, fats, and proteins. 
It is involved in the production of keratin, a protein that is essential for the good condition of hair, nails and skin. It also intervenes in the vision. It interacts with vitamins B3 and B6. The formation of the coenzymes FMN and FAD from vitamin B2 is regulated by thyroid and corticosteroid hormones. Vitamin B2 requirement is proportional to energy expenditure. For athletes, the nutritional reference must therefore be increased by 0.5 to 1.5 mg per day. Dietary Sources of Vitamin B2 Vitamin B2 is most abundant in foods of animal origin, dairy products, offal, eggs, fish and meat. Among plants, green vegetables are relatively rich in green. Many breakfast cereals are fortified with it. Brewer's yeast can supplement the intake. As an example, 20 centiliters, one small bowl, semi-skimmed milk plus one plain yogurt plus two eggs plus 150 grams, one small plate, spinach equals 100% of the nutritional reference for a woman. Vitamin B2 is very sensitive to light. To preserve it as well as possible, it is important to keep foods rich in it in opaque containers. As it is water-soluble, it escapes into the cooking water or food juices, hence the importance of steaming and consuming the juices of offal or meat. At the end of this video, please share with friends and family to help us grow and provide more educational videos. Thanks for watching. Hello dear followers to a new episode of the Nutritionpedia. Today's topic is going viral everywhere on the internet because it's very interesting for our health and well-being. So, let's dive in without any delays. But before we start, subscribe to the channel to receive more useful videos about nutrition and health. Very few people know about the health benefits of spirulina powder. It is fast becoming popular as superfood in different parts of the world. Known as blue, green algae, Spirulina is one of the 1500 species of aquatic plants that offers great health benefits. Spirulina powder can provide you with vitamins, minerals and antioxidants. It's a well-known fact that spirulina chlorella powder can provide more than 10 times carotenoids as compared to carrots. Spirulina powder is extracted from lakes with a relatively higher pH value. Once extracted, spirulina is dried and processed to the powder form. Once you buy spirulina powder, do not cook it. Cooking will take away most of the nutrients provided by spirulina. Research conducted by various institutes suggests that spirulina can protect patients suffering from chronic hepatitis. It's known to help heal liver damage and protect against cirrhosis. Many people buy spirulina because of its anti-viral properties. It provides great protection against influenza, HIV-1 and herpes. A number of scientists from Japan have found that spirulina powder can protect cells in human and monkey body from various infections. Regular intake of spirulina powder can help an individual to develop stronger immune system to fight various health conditions that are undesirable. When immune system is in good shape, fighting off chronic diseases and infections becomes a lot easier. People consuming spirulina chlorella powder are known to possess higher number of infection-fighting agents. Because of its antioxidant and immune-strengthening characteristics, spirulina powder can be used to help fight diseases such as cancer. Before you make a decision to buy spirulina online, care should be taken to check the authenticity of the sellers. Not all online retailers are selling genuine products containing spirulina and chlorella powder. You can take spirulina in the powder form or buy spirulina tablets from a health store. Positive effects of consuming spirulina chlorella powder on a regular basis are many and research is still going on. Because of its restoring and fortifying properties, spirulina intake is beneficial to everyone. Consuming spirulina and chlorella powder as per experts' recommendations can work wonders for anyone. Spirulina intake is highly beneficial for healthy living. It will work on your body's natural defense mechanism and ward off potential diseases that spread through infections. It will also make up for the dietary deficiencies and increase metabolism rate. It's because of these benefits that spirulina powder is considered to be an essential ingredient of weight loss programs. 
Increased metabolism rate is very important for people suffering from weight-related problems. Spirulina and chlorella powder is rich in chlorophyll, a source of iron, vitamins and protein. You can take chlorella powder with apple juice or something recommended by your doctor. It's fine to take it directly but you will have to bear with the taste. Experts do not recommend chlorella powder for people taking blood thinning medicines. Consulting a doctor is important to know about the appropriate dosages and intake methods. Effects on pregnant women are not well known to scientists and the same should be discussed with the doctor before you buy spirulina powder. Take a close look at the product description before you buy spirulina powder from an online health store or local shop. It should be certified organic and grown without using any sort of harmful chemicals. I hope this videos was useful to you to learn enough about spirulina and chlorella. Thanks for watching. Welcome in this new video about one of my favorite superfoods. If you want to learn about the healthy effect of garlic on your body, make sure you watch the video till the end. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos about nutrition and foods. Let's dive in. Garlic is a type of bulb that has been used as a flavoring for food for hundreds of years. Researchers have been studying garlic for several years and have found that it has medicinal properties. Below are some of the health benefits of garlic. Helps prevent bacterial infections. Garlic is a natural antibiotic. It has been shown to ward off the most common types of bacteria such as Listeria, Salmonella, E. coli and Staphylococcus. Health researchers have found that a person's body can become resistant to antibiotics if he takes them for a long period of time. However, there has been no evidence to suggest that the body can become resistant to garlic. Supports the immune system. Not only can garlic help prevent bacterial infections, but it can also help prevent fungal and viral infections. Garlic has been shown to boost the immune system. It is rich in vitamin C, vitamin B6, magnesium and selenium. Those nutrients help support immune system health. Lowers blood pressure. High blood pressure is a health problem that affects approximately 25% of adults. If this condition is not treated, it can result in heart attacks and stroke. One of the health benefits of garlic may be in this area as studies have shown that people who take a garlic supplement can reduce their blood pressure by up to 5%. Additionally, garlic supplements may also lower a person's risk of having a stroke by up to 40%. Helps prevent blood clots from forming. Platelets are cell fragments that are responsible for forming blood clots. When a person develops a cut or a bruise, the platelets come together to prevent further bleeding. Platelets are important, but they can also cause clots to form in the arteries. Garlic helps prevent platelets from aggregating or coming together in the arteries. It can also help the body break up existing blood clots. Reduces cholesterol level. High cholesterol affects nearly 40% of the adult population. High-density lipoprotein and low-density lipoprotein are the two different forms of cholesterol. Low-density lipoprotein causes plaque to build up in the arteries. High-density lipoprotein helps keep the arteries clean. Garlic has been shown to reduce low-density lipoprotein by up to 20%. It can also help raise high-density lipoprotein slightly. Reduces free radicals in the body. Free radicals are compounds that are naturally present in the body. When these compounds begin to accumulate in the body, a number of health problems can result. Garlic acts as an antioxidant and can help reduce the number of free radicals in the body. This can help slow down the process of aging. Reduces inflammation. Inflammation is the body's response to a harmful stimulus. Even though inflammation plays an important role in helping the body fight infections, when this problem becomes chronic, it can cause heart disease, cancer and depression. Garlic helps reduce inflammation. May help prevent cancer. It is estimated that 30% of women and 50% of men will develop cancer at some point in their life. That is an alarming statistic, but the good news is that garlic may help prevent cancer. Studies have shown that people who consume garlic at least twice a week can reduce their risk of developing all types of cancer. Health experts believe that garlic helps prevent cancerous cells from growing. Treats diabetes. 
Diabetes is a chronic condition that is caused by prolonged periods of elevated blood sugar. Insulin is the hormone that is responsible for regulating blood sugar. Diabetes occurs when the body cannot make or respond to insulin. Garlic can help treat diabetes by helping the body produce more insulin. Helps one manage a healthy body weight. Obesity is a major health crisis that affects over 30% of the American population. There was a clinical study done on rats that measured garlic's effect on weight gain. All of the rats were fed a high sugar diet, but half of them were given garlic. The results of the study were that the rats who were fed garlic gained less weight. Researchers believe that garlic can have this same effect on humans. Garlic can reduce the risk of several health conditions and improve a person's overall health. Everyone should ask their doctor about adding a garlic supplement to their regime. Thank you for watching. Hi. Welcome to the Nutritionpedia again for another educational video. We will cover today the 6 best vitamins for hair growth. So let's dive in. Many people consider healthy looking hair as a sign of health or beauty. This is because hair needs a variety of nutrients to be healthy and to grow. This is especially true as hair loss is becoming more and more widespread. Nowadays, even children are beginning to experience hair loss. Clearly, the causes of hair loss are diverse, such as pollution, stress, an inadequate diet and lack of sleep. Many nutritional deficiencies can be added to this. Finally, in order to have healthy hair, we will make a list of vitamins for hair growth. The different methods to treat hair loss First of all, there are different methods to treat hair loss. Indeed, some vitamins for hair growth are very effective. Especially since the consumption of vitamins prevents hair loss. Finally, taking vitamin supplements are beneficial. Eating more vitamin-rich foods that treat hair loss is very effective. Moreover, the choice of medication varies according to the problem. It is different from one person to another. Consult a healthcare professional before starting to take vitamins. And here are six vitamins and three other nutrients that may be important for hair growth. Many people consider healthy looking hair as a sign of health or beauty. This is because hair needs a variety of nutrients to be healthy and to grow. This is especially true as hair loss is becoming more and more widespread. Nowadays, even children are beginning to experience hair loss. Clearly, the causes of hair loss are diverse, such as pollution, stress, an inadequate diet and lack of sleep. Many nutritional deficiencies can be added to this. Finally, in order to have healthy hair, we will make a list of vitamins for hair growth. The different methods to treat hair loss First of all, there are different methods to treat hair loss. Indeed, some vitamins for hair growth are very effective. Especially since the consumption of vitamins prevents hair loss. Finally, taking vitamin supplements are beneficial. Eating more vitamin-rich foods that treat hair loss is very effective. Moreover, the choice of medication varies according to the problem. It is different from one person to another. Consult a healthcare professional before starting to take vitamins. Below are six vitamins and three other nutrients that may be important for hair growth. 1. Vitamin A. First of all, cell development needs vitamin A. This includes hair, the fastest growing tissue in the human body. Vitamins for hair growth are essential. Especially since vitamin A also helps the skin glands to produce sebum. Indeed, sebum hydrates the scalp. It helps to keep hair healthy. Secondly, vitamin A deficient diets lead to hair loss. Finally, it is important to consume enough vitamin A too much can be dangerous. Studies show that an overdose of vitamin A can also contribute to hair loss. Foods rich in vitamin A are, sweet potatoes, carrots, pumpkins, spinach and kale. These foods are all rich in beta-carotene, which is converted into vitamin A. Vitamin A can also be found in animal products, such as milk, eggs and yogurt. Cod liver oil is very good. 2. B vitamins. Firstly, the B vitamin called biotin accelerates hair growth. Second, studies show a link between biotin deficiency and hair loss in men. 
Vitamins for hair growth play an important role. Although biotin is used as an alternative treatment for hair loss, deficient people get the best results. However, deficiency is very rare. It occurs naturally in a wide range of foods. Indeed, there is also a lack of data on the effectiveness of biotin. Finally, other B vitamins help to create red blood cells. They transport oxygen and nutrients to the scalp and hair follicles. These processes are important for growth. In addition, you can get B vitamins from many foods such as almonds, the meat, the fish, seafood, dark leafy green vegetables. In addition, foods of animal origin are the only good sources of vitamin B12. So if you are on a vegetarian or vegan diet, consider taking a supplement. 3. Vitamin C. First of all, free radical damage can block growth. They can cause your hair to age. In addition, vitamin C is a powerful antioxidant. It protects against oxidative stress caused by free radicals. Vitamins for hair growth are therefore essential. In addition, your body needs vitamin C to create a protein called collagen, an important part of the hair structure. It also helps your body absorb iron, a mineral necessary for hair growth. Strawberries, peppers, guavas and citrus fruits are good sources of vitamin C. 4. Vitamin D. First of all, low vitamin D levels are linked to alopecia, the technical term for hair loss. Moreover, research also shows that vitamin D can help create new follicles. The tiny pores of the scalp where new hair can grow. Second, vitamin D is thought to play a role in hair production but most research is focused on vitamin D receptors. The actual role of vitamin D in hair growth is unknown. That said, most people do not get enough vitamin D. It may be wise to increase your intake. Finally, your body produces vitamin D in direct relation to the sun's rays. Good dietary sources of vitamin D include fatty fish, cod liver oil, some mushrooms and fortified foods. 5. Vitamin E. Similar to vitamin C, vitamin E is an antioxidant that prevents oxidative stress. In fact, in one study, hair growth in people with hair loss increased by 34.5%. Vitamin E was taken for 8 months. Vitamins for hair growth are therefore very important. The placebo group only experienced an increase of 0.1%. Finally, sunflower seeds, almonds, spinach and avocados are good sources of vitamin E. 6. Vitamin B5. In conclusion, known as pro-vitamin B5 or panthenol, it is an important ingredient in hair loss medications. Foods rich in vitamin B5 are good for your health. Cheese, fatty fish, eggs, avocados, beef, poultry, sunflower seeds. So hair growth vitamins play a major role. Thank you for watching. Share and subscribe to the channel. And see you soon. Hello dear viewers, and welcome to another educational video. Without reminding you how good is a healthy diet in reversing diabetes, I want to go straight to the point, because I know that every single person fighting diabetes is aware of it. So, let's begin. One of the most significant ways to control your blood sugar is through diet and the foods you eat. It is crucial to keep your total calories intake for the day at a low but healthy level. The foods we will cover in the rest of this video, contain almost no calories, and may even end up in the negative because you will burn them for energy when you make any physical effort. This means you can enjoy as much of each of these foods as you wish. Carrots. They are generally orange but are also found in white, purple, yellow and red. They contain high amounts of beta-carotene that turns into vitamin A, which is essential for good eyesight. One cup contains only 53 calories and more than 400% of the daily value for vitamin A. Mushrooms, often used as a meat substitute by vegans and vegetarians. One cup contains no more than 15 calories along with vital nutrients. Apples very nutritious, and a cup of a sliced apple contains 57 calories and 3 grams of dietary fiber. Tomatoes. They are one of the world's most popular vegetables for taste and versatility. Loaded with lycopene, a beneficial compound, 
tomatoes can protect against inflammation, heart disease, and cancer. Strawberries. So delicious, versatile, and fashionable. Consuming berries in general helps your body to fight chronic illnesses such as heart disease and cancer, with fewer than 50 calories in a single cup. Spinach. Full of minerals and vitamins including vitamins A and K, as well as folate. Spinach is a rich source of protein compared to other leafy green vegetables. One cup of spinach is only 7 calories, so it is most likely to be a negative calorie food. Drinks. Water is the best drink as it has zero calories. Most of the herbal teas have very few or no calories. A cup of black coffee only has two calories. These are the best liquids to drink as everything else has more calories so read the labels if you don't know. Cucumbers are often used in salads. They are full water, so half a cup of cucumber is only 8 calories. Watermelon. It's well known for its hydrating ability. Loaded with vitamin C and has a certain amount of nearly all nutrients. A cup of diced watermelon has only 46 calories. Celery is widely acknowledged as one of the best low-calorie foods. It is high in water and has insoluble fiber meaning it generally goes through your body without being digested. One cup of chopped celery contains only 18 calories. In addition to these, there are plenty of other foods also in this category, including lettuce, cabbage, garlic, grapefruit, lime, lemon, Brussels sprouts, zucchini and so on. Among this list of low to no calorie foods, there are certainly to be some you like. Consume most of them instead of eating high-calorie processed foods that do not help you control your type 2 diabetes and overall health. Although managing your disease can be very challenging, type 2 diabetes is not a condition you must just live with. You can make simple changes to your daily routine and lower both your weight and your blood sugar levels. Stick to low-calories foods to achieve your goals, the longer you do it, easier it gets. Like and subscribe to the channel for more health and nutrition videos. Thanks for watching. Is your body mass too high? Your complexes are ruining your life. Do your bad eating habits make you fear the worst for your health? If it is time to react, it is just as crucial to select the right diet plan. This is not obvious because of marketing interests or simply unfounded beliefs, however you won't be mistaken anymore with the best diet 2020 ranking. 41 plans were carefully analyzed and ranked by specialists. In this video we will be covering the three best plans for our health according to Best Diet 2020. Number 1. The Mediterranean Diet. It's not a surprise as it is generally accepted that people in the south of France live longer. Their secret. A diet low in red meat, sugars and saturated fats. This lifestyle favors products rich in good fats or poly and mono unsaturated fatty acids. Omega 3s are the star, oily fish, oleaginous plants, virgin oils. These tasty dishes have many health benefits and prevent cardiovascular risk and diabetes. Number 2. The DASH Diet. Don't you know it? This diet is however strongly recommended by the medical profession in the USA, in particular by the national heart, lung and blood. It is a balanced diet, low in refined sugars and fats, especially saturated fats, but rich in nutrients. It includes fruits, vegetables, whole grains, lean protein, low-fat dairy products. Following DASH also means limiting your sodium intake to prevent the risk of hypertension. Number 3. The Flexitarian Diet. The term, flexitarian, was coined in 2009 by dietitian Don Jackson Blatter. It is a vegetarian lifestyle but more flexible, as its name suggests. It is not necessary to completely eliminate the meat, but simply to reduce it. According to Best Diet 2019 experts, this lifestyle prevents the risk of cancer, among other things. These three diets are as healthy as they are easy to follow because they are based on common sense itself. Just behind these three methods are the MIND diet for brain health and TLC therapeutic lifestyle change which prevents the risks associated with the development of cholesterol. The best slimming diets. If slimming methods often promise wonders, many of them are just window dressing. 
However, according to this American ranking, some of them seem to be quite effective. Here is the ranking of the best slimming diets. The Weight Watcher Diet. Who hasn't heard of Weight Watchers? This method seems to be working, according to Best Diet 2019. This program was launched in 2017 and is based on a smart points system that assigns a value in points to each food and drink based on its nutritional qualities. A playful way to integrate certain cues and good food reflexes. The Ultimate Volumetric Diet. This method is the creation of Dr. Barbara Rolls. It offers simple strategies and recipes for losing weight without putting it back on. In her books, she provides a concentrate of tips to be applied on a daily basis. The Flexitarian Diet. Again. This plan is also one of the top three health plans. It therefore seems to be a sustainable solution to reconcile aesthetics and health. Schemes to avoid. The regimes to be avoided are the most unbalanced ones. The last three in the standings are. The ketogenic diet. This diet is very low in carbohydrates. However, this method is very popular with stars and athletes who want to lose fat quickly and dry out. Indeed, the consumption of sugars slows down the metabolism of fats. If it is effective, it worries nutritionists because of its imbalance. The Dukan Diet. This method relies on calorie counting and consumption of high-protein foods. The body is therefore deprived of many nutrients, good fats and carbohydrates. The Dukan Diet is therefore drastic and perceived as too aggressive for the body. The Atkins Diet. This method was invented by Dr. Robert Atkins. It recommends a low-carbohydrate and therefore unbalanced diet. Maintain your health and figure for the long term as you can see, the secret to combining health and figure is a balanced diet. The idea is to reduce your intake of refined sugars, saturated fatty acids, butter, cream, fatty meats and deli meats in favor of foods rich in nutrients, mainly vegetables, and unsaturated fatty acids, fatty fish, oilseeds and virgin oils. Eat. For more educational content, like and subscribe to the channel and activate the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching. Welcome again to the Nutritionpedia channel. Today's video is about some helpful foods for diabetics. But before we start, don't forget to subscribe to support us if you like the channel content. Knowing what the best foods for diabetes are is essential to be able to maintain this disease effectively. Implementing the best foods for diabetes will allow you to control and manage your blood sugar levels at normal levels so that you can avoid the complications that are associated with diabetes. The ideal diabetes diet consists of plant-based foods and no animal products at all. Choosing foods that are low in GI is also essential so that you can manage your blood sugar levels easily. The most important thing to remember is that you need to make sure that your diet is healthy, nutritious and well-balanced. Following is a list of some of the best foods for diabetes. Broccoli. This vegetable is your best source of natural chromium. Chromium is known to enhance the action of insulin in your body. Cabbage. This is your source of fiber. It is a low glycemic index food and is a natural anti-inflammatory and anti-cancer food. Brussels sprouts. This is the main anti-diabetes food available. The great benefits include maintaining sugar levels within the normal range required, it's an anti-acid and anti-cancer food. Beans and lentils. These are your source for dietary fiber, which means it slows down digestion and allows your sugar from rising too quickly after your meal. Ideal food for lowering cholesterol. Beans are a good source of protein and contain antioxidants, magnesium, folic acids and copper iron. Artichoke. This vegetable is high in fiber, calcium, iron, potassium, phosphorus and other trace minerals. It is great for cleansing the liver and gallbladder. Celery. The benefits of celery include lowering of cholesterol, arthritis, high blood pressure, gout, and neutralization of acid. Spinach. This is the best vegetable for your eyes. The lutein in spinach fights cataracts as well as macular degeneration. Spinach also includes calcium, vitamin K, iron, and folic acid. Cauliflower. 
This is a good source of fiber and is low in GI. Cauliflower contains vitamin B folate that helps with cell growth and has natural anti-cancer compounds. Asparagus. This vegetable is great for depression, is good for detoxing, and is a natural diuretic. Fenugreek. The seeds from fenugreek contain 50% of fiber and research has shown that it not only lowers blood glucose but can also reduce insulin levels, total cholesterol, and triglycerides while also increasing HDL, which is the good cholesterol. Onion and garlic. The benefits of these two are similar. Garlic has the ability to control blood sugar levels and has the ability to stimulate insulin production as well as helping the liver from deactivating insulin. The best foods for diabetes are by implementing quality healthy nutritious fresh plant foods. This is the key to maintaining your blood sugar and avoiding the nasty complications of diabetes. Thank you for watching. Hello YouTube. Welcome to another video about vitamins. Today we will be talking about vitamin K and its benefits. For more videos like this one like and subscribe to the channel to receive notifications. You can find us on Instagram with this name, at Nutritionpedia101 and you will find in the description box our Pinterest and Facebook page links. So, let's begin. Vitamin K is necessary for blood clotting. It is both produced in the body by intestinal bacteria and provided by food. You will discover with us in this video the role of this vitamin, and its recommended nutritional intake. Description of Vitamin K Vitamin K is one of the fat-soluble vitamins. It exists in several forms in the diet, philoquinone or vitamin K1, present in plants and minoquinones or vitamins K2, provided by foods of animal origin. Roles in the body Vitamin K has long been known for its role in blood clotting, it activates several clotting factors and thus prevents bleeding. Researchers have recently discovered that it is essential for bone health, facilitating the action of osteocalcin, a protein involved in bone calcification. Vitamin K is believed to be essential for bone growth in children and adolescents and for the prevention of osteoporosis in adults. Recommended dietary allowances could be increased. This is because the recommendations are currently based on the amounts needed for optimal synthesis of clotting factors. Recent evidence of vitamin K requirements for the production of other proteins, such as osteocalcin, has prompted some researchers to propose higher recommended intakes. In addition, most health agencies recommend an intake of 1 microgram per kilogram of body weight per day. For example, the European Food Safety Authority EFSA, has set a nutritional reference value average for an adult of 75 micrograms per day. Dietary Sources of Vitamin K The foods richest in vitamin K1 are leafy vegetables, spinach, green salads, different kinds of cabbage, soybean and rapeseed oils. Other vegetables and oils, such as fruit, provide smaller amounts. Foods that provide vitamin K2 are mainly animal livers and fermented milk products especially cheeses, as well as natto, a traditional Japanese food made from fermented soybeans. And seaweed is highly concentrated in vitamin K. Some microorganisms in the colon produce vitamin K, which, however, seems to be poorly assimilated. As an example, 30 grams of romaine salad, a medium plate, seasoned with 10 grams of rapeseed oil, a tablespoon, equals 100% of the recommended intake for an adult. Finally, you should know that vitamin K is sensitive to light, heat and air oxidation. To preserve it, it is advisable to keep food in a cool and dark place and to consume it quickly. If necessary, cook them for just the right amount of time and avoid reheating them several times. Thanks for watching and see you soon in another video. Hello dear viewers. Welcome to a new video about healthy foods and nutrition. As one of the most prominent leafy vegetables in the world, kale is a wondrous raw food with a plethora of redeeming qualities. Featured in many famous dishes from Africa, Ireland, Asia, Netherlands, 
Brazil, Denmark, Holland, Sweden, Montenegro and Portugal kale is truly a global provider. As a super raw food that's fairly inexpensive and easy to source there is no reason why we all should not be cooking with this leafy friend more often. Mostly promoted and supported by vegan, vegetarian and raw food enthusiasts everyone would be better served by including more kale in their daily eating routines. Very easy to cook with and boasting a voracious variety of uses it should not be difficult for anyone to increase their kale intake. Kale is in the cabbage family and comes in green or purple headless leaves. Other color variations may consist of whites, yellows, blues and reds. The vegetable is strong in flavor and can become even more pronounced after being frozen or exposed to frost. The plant also grows very well in wintry and harsh climates making it very versatile as far as cultivation is concerned. Some close brothers to kale are broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage, kohlrabi, rapini, collard greens and brussels sprouts. Kale is viewed as a superfood with many healing qualities. In addition to its nutritional values, kale is also often used for garnish and decoration. Most ornamental cabbage you see in gardens is from the kale family. One cool characteristic of growing kale is that you can harvest the outer leaves as you need them without harming the plant or the future growth of more inner leaves. Kale is very simple to grow and is a great addition to any vegetable patch. It is of interesting to note that the tender and young kale is best for salads while the mature leaves are best for cooking. Speaking of food preparation let's take a look at some of the reasons why we should include this raw food in our meals and dishes. Boiling kale is not the recommended but steaming, microwaving, stir-frying and eating it raw are all highly encouraged. Kale is a cherished raw food because it is rich in beta-carotene, vitamin K, vitamin C, lutein, zeaxanthin, calcium, glucosinolates, sulforaphane, vitamin E, vitamin A, iron, manganese, calcium, potassium and manganese. It is these facets of kale that are known to prevent and fight against such medical terrors as cancer, cataracts, emphysema and rheumatoid arthritis. A traditional serving size of kale, one cup, only contains 40 to 60 calories making it a great weight loss aid. Containing a plethora of enriching antioxidant properties, compounds, minerals and nutrients the vegetable is also successful in preventing colds, improving skin tone and augmenting energy levels. Even though it helps the liver, the colon and other vital organs one special circumstance it does not aid in is those with thyroid issues. Containing goitrogen, a naturally occurring substance in kale and if too much is consumed kale can interfere with the functioning of the thyroid gland or cause concern for those with thyroid problems. Regardless of this one caveat kale is still a food that must be consumed more often by more people. If you care about your health, the environment and the raw food industry you should have no problem jumping on the kale bandwagon. Kale recipes are rarely complicated and the food is so flexible it can be used in smoothies, soups, salads and even main dishes. Although kale is often cooked and combined with meat, we highly encourage its use only in a raw food setting. By eating kale raw we maximize its potential while helping the world as well as ourselves. A raw food diet is a great way to take care of the planet while also nurturing your body and kale is a perfect part of that plan. There are many awesome raw food cookbooks on the market that can show you some great kale recipes. The next time you are thinking of eating something raw and delicious hopefully kale will cross your mind and tummy. Here is even a great kale smoothie and soup recipe to get you started on your quest for kale indulgence. Kale smoothie, blend ingredients well. 2 cups filtered water, 4 bananas, 3 yellow mangoes, 1 cup of raspberries, 1 cup of red grapes, 6 to 8 kale leaves, a few mint leaves. Kale soup, blend all the ingredients with warm water to get desired consistency. 1 bunch of kale leaves, 1 quarter avocado, 1 quarter lemon peeled, 1 Roma tomato, 2 cloves garlic, 2 cups filtered water, a sprinkle of red pepper flakes, salt, pepper and onion powder to taste. If you like the video, give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.